nightmare. Yeah. Dean McLaughlin yeah. is here. And guess what? ADOT has been on Twitter all night tonight saying, hey, just avoid travel on east yeah. and westbound I-40 because look at this. Jeez. Another round of snow tonight. Oh. And it's kind of the same thing that that ADOC spokesper uh, spokesperson just talked about. Fast moving star, uh, snow. This is going to come down quick and heavy. And then it's going to get out of here in about a two to four hour time frame. You can see it's already starting to snow on the east and westbound lanes of I-40 and then Parts of Flagstaff is going to go under a winter weather advisory that I'm going to show you in a second. This is Prescott. Wait a minute. Didn't I see some rain and snow in the Prescott area? I've got one drop right here live outside of the courthouse where it's 46 degrees. So it's not falling in town in the mountains surrounding Prescott. 64 degrees outside here in the valley. Winds out of the south southwest at eight. We're tracking winds here tonight. So in a couple of hours, midnight through 2 to 4 a.m., Sustained winds at 15, but that means wind gusts in excess of 20 to 25 here in the valley because they're still gusting 35 over in Yuma. All this is tied into this low pressure center. You see it right there, that counterclockwise rotation. It's trying to draw some moisture in. Right now, there's not a lot of moisture out there. There's that winter weather advisory right into the heart of Flagstaff, uh, north and southbound I-17, east and westbound of I-40. Expect rough travel starting at 11 p.m. tonight through 11 a.m. tomorrow. So there's the center of the low. It's a cold storm, but look at the orange in the water vapor map. You see this dry air there, dry air right there. And then guess where it's heading right here to the valley. We have an outside shot at rain. Here it is on Futurecast. Notice where it's falling. Far East Valley, Northeast Valley here in the county. I think this is going to be a better snow event, right? And it's going to move fairly quickly because by tomorrow morning, 630, even before the sun's up, out it goes. And then partly cloudy skies. It's going to be nice for St. Patrick's Day. In fact, it's going to warm up into the mid 70s. That's what I'm crossing my fingers for. As far as tonight for snow, fast moving, right? Two to four hour time frame. And they could get up to four inches in Flagstaff and another four inches in Pine Top. Let's hope people stay safe, but let's hope that happens because we need the moisture. And then again, rainfall totals, nothing really measurable here. Trace amounts. Don't be surprised if you see some sprinkles out there, but maybe some measurable amounts in the far northeastern quarter. Here's a quick look at your St. Patrick's Day forecast, the national holiday. Come on, 75. It's almost perfect outside there. And to wrap things up, it's going to be cool and breezy tomorrow. 65, 75 on St. Patrick's Day. Guys, we're talking mid-80s by the beginning of the weekend. Not too shabby. Same thank you.